Ghana state-based controversial Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Bumi says he has spoken to many bandits and they have agreed to lay down their weapons and embrace education. Gumi stated this while speaking to journalists during an inspection visit to the Sheikh Hotsma bin Fodior Center at Gangaku Grazing Reserve, Kohoto Village, donated by Sultan Bello Mosque Foundation on Monday. This Islamic scholar who has been at the forefront of advocating negotiations for the bandit said the government should spend billions on building screws for the gunmen instead of spending it on security hardware. He also has refuted allegations credited to him that declaring bandits as terrorists would end Nigeria, saying he was quoted out of context. The cleric explained that 99% of hessmen are not involved in banditry. And if the state now says all hessmen are terrorists, Nigeria will have problems all over. Speaking on the school, he said the, the center contains six classrooms, which will be engaged for 24 hours daily. The hessmen take cattle for grazing in the morning, come back and study in the evening. Before then, we would run primary and secondary schools at intervals. We have a hospital also at the center as well as an economic booster on showing them how to feed their animals. If we can replicate this everywhere, Nigeria will be in peace, he submitted, he said. In his remarks, the Fulani chief of community, Harudo Hamed, Tahiru said they are excited about the project. Also speaking, Iman Tafa Dahiru noted that the project has united the community and they are all full of joy. Similarly, a Christian cleric in the community, Luca Ma, commended Sheikh Gumi for the gesture, saying that he is delighted that their children don't need to travel far before going to school. But very true, they should also use the billions of Naira use for conducting election in the north to put bandits into office. Then, what about the schools for Amajiris built by the former president Kulok Jonathan? The bandits should attend those ones. And you are telling me that some of those governors, the senators, the ministers, and other top government officials from the north does not have the same mindset as this man or share in his point of view. If not, what, if not, what are they doing to stop those killings? There is a problem or a very big one. Hmm. Tomorrow, the government will say nobody is above the law. If it's true, then then they arrest this man. Let's see how re the constitution of Nigeria is working on us. The law only leads, says, okay, I beg your pardon, I don't really care this. These are reactions from Nigerians and they are still talking. These bandits, are they citizens of which nation? Who invited them in the, to this nation? For what purpose? This is the baby bandit that Gumi wants federal government to build schools for. Gumi is advocating for federal government. He knows that the federal government that are the real bandit we have in this country. <laughs> How Shai Gumi is seen as a saint and an honorable Nigeria is still a surprise to me. Imagine if it was an evil man advocating for terrorists in this country. One that shall they say they shall never end. You bring in terrorists from somewhere else to kill indigenous Nigerians, then threatening us that we must give them money and land in Nigeria before they stop the killings. Well, the government's in bed with you guys because nowhere in the world will a government allow terrorists to kill its people, then turn around and compensate the terrorists.
so that bandits can fully take over Nigeria be? This is the most terrible, senseless thing I have heard from this man. If this man is still walking free without no arrest, then we can conclude that the government is in support of terrorism. <laughs> but I can't can't it be used to build for IPOB or roads in Igbo land? It is very obvious that the government knows about this banditry. I don't know what caused them to go and arrest this man. So definitely there is something behind this. A Northern governor had admitted that 99% of the bandits terrorizing Nigeria are foreigners. Now the question is, how are we going to build schools for foreign bandits? I just hope that the federal government is taking note of the views of Gumin. Nigerians are really surprised and worried that he is still working freely on Nigerian soil. Ken Sarowiwa was gumsly murdered for a crime he never committed. But see how bandits and their sponsors are working unchallenged. Where was your support? for Gulag Jonathan when he wanted to educate the Amajiris and give them a better future. We know they are a recruitment source for bandits and Boko Haram. Educating will help in reducing the insecurity. This is the same type of brain you will find in Asorok, in governor level, in House of Assembly, in House of Representatives. The only thing that works for them is looting. I thought you would say northern governors should start paying bandit allowances and free housing. I blame the media for granting him interviews. Anyway, they work for the government too. So guys, these are reactions from Nigerians as you can see. Nigerians are not comfortable with what Ahmed Gumi, you know, have said. According to Gumi, he said Nigeria should use billions of naira spent on ammunition to build schools for bandits. So what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for always stopping by. I